So it's off deeper into the Medina to find the type of exotic delights Lawrence would have had during his adventures in Arabia. What's this, what's this stuff here? This is like, you know, a salty butter. We use it normally for couscous. It's rancid butter. They leave the butter basically goes sour, rancid. So it's got a real cheesy... <laughs> I don't care, do they? It's got, it's got a real cheesy note to it. Uh, I think it is an acquired taste. Apparently, a real kind of local worker's breakfast is a piece of toast or bread with this spread on it and honey on top. I was when you have something very good, you know, inside. Inside there? Yeah, inside. What's you getting? Yeah. For, some, for the tangier. You can smell that. It's much stronger than this. It has two years. They preserved it for two years. That's, you said that's two years? Two years. That's two years old. It's so a little taste. It's salty. Oh, it's strong. Yes, yeah, very strong. It's it's basically, yeah. if you closed your eyes, you think you're eating blue teas. I think which is very good for tangier. Is it in the tangier? What's good for my tangier? Ras al hanout. Ras al hanout. Yeah. It's like you know, you know, many kinds of spices you know mixed together. You can smell it. It's very nice. That's beautiful. It's, it's very is, hot. This is ras al hanout. Oh, it's a spice mixture, but dried rose petals in it. Then for a little bit of cardoon, which is like a cross between celery and That's artichoke. Thank you. Perfect. Fantastic. Oh. Seems to be a tangier expert. Let's see what he thinks. What do you think? What do you think? Oh. It's good? Smell? Oh. Yeah? Yeah, we. Excellent. I think I'm on the right track. I then just add a bit of water and oil. So, I've got my tangier. All I need to do now is cook it. And apparently, the way to do that around here is find a public bath. And there happens to be one right here. In Fez, every day all the locals go for a communal bath where they clean with hot water and rub down with cleansing herbs. But it's not the bath that I'm interested in, rather the place where the water is heated. Right, so inside that wall is the public baths where people come to basically get naked and wash themselves. This also acts as a public oven, so people bring their um, tangiers to be cooked here because they don't have ovens at home. Ah, bonjour. Si vous pouvez prendre pour mettre au four. Ah, merci, merci. Oh, there must be something around here then. What he's done is just basically stuck the pot in the hot um, ashes and just got to leave it in there for six to eight hours. Come back, hopefully, it's going to be cooked. All the tangiers in Fez are cooked this way, and all it requires is a bit of patience. Then, after five hours, it's time for my first taste of camel, the way Lawrence of Arabia would have recognised. Mm. See, I think that that is, I think it's a wonderful dish. It's exotic and it's exciting. Well, this is my first mm. taste of camel hump. It's slightly crunchy, but yeah. a bit, very, very slightly crunchy. Yeah. Trouble is, for the for the British palate, when they have people have meat that's a little bit crunchy, mm. a lot of people don't like that. 